Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we want to discuss about one of the most common problems that we can encounter using scanf in C programming language that scanf leaves the new line character in its buffer and the next time you want to read something that new line will be used instead of what you want to enter. So let's see an example in here. In here I have declared a and b two integers and we also have some characters. C1 and C2 are, are of the type character. Now I want to read in into A and also read into B as well and also read into the character C1 and C2. And let's see how the C programming language will behave. Let's go and run this program. So enter something is basically for an integer. I will integer. Uh, I will enter an integer. One. Enter something else. Uh, I will enter two. This is all good. Nothing bad will happen when you're trying to read integers. The problem is when you're trying to read characters. Now if I click enter, as you can see, the first character. The first time we wanted to read a character and store it in C1, it was already read. And why it was already read? Because I had a new line after 2. So when I pressed enter on my keyboard, that enter was stored here into this character into C1. And this is a problem. Uh, so what we can do to solve this problem is that let's go and close this program. And the easiest way to solve this problem is that we are going to put a space here before the conversion specifier. So we will have a space in here. Now let's go and run this program. Okay, the first times I will enter integers 1 and 2. And now, and now the program is uh, behaving a bit more properly. It's asking me for a character. I will enter A and enter. And as you can see, once again, uh, the problem occurred because after A, I entered a new line and that new line was read into this another character. Now that's also not good. What we can do is that put another space here before this conversion specifier. Let's go and run this program. Now everything will work properly. 1, 2, A and B and everything is good and scanf is behaving as it's supposed to. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.